Hello class. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be graphing some pictures on a pictograph and we are going to be using our cars to do it. When we graph items, we often use a paper that looks something like this. They're in a grid and they're all an equal size and an equal number. Well, today vroom, we are going to be graphing some cars. I think that I would like for us to graph the colors of the cars. Do you see lots of different colors to these cars? The first thing that I would like for us to do is find all of the yellow cars. Mm, there's one, that's a cutesy one. I'm gonna graph one, two, three, four yellow cars. And now I'm gonna back this one up and I am gonna graph some orange cars. And then I'm gonna pull this one into this parking spot and ooh, we're gonna back this one up, beep, 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 right to there. And now I'm gonna graph our green cars and I only have one car left. It's our red car and I'm gonna pull it right into this spot. I have graphed the cars. I have one, two, three, four yellow cars, one, two, three orange vehicles, and one, two green vehicles, and one red vehicle. Which color vehicle do we have the greatest number? One, two, three, four yellow ones. You're right, there's the greatest number of yellow ones. We're going to say that that is the most. Most means the same as the greatest number. Which one, yellow, orange, green, or red, has the smallest number of vehicles? You're right, it's our red one. It is our smallest number, and we call that the fewest. There are fewer red vehicles than yellow vehicles. Well, today we are graphing, but we're gonna graph with pictures instead of objects. So we are gonna need to replace some of these objects. I have made some little pictures to take their place. How many yellow car pictures do I need? I'm gonna back this one up. There's one. And then I'm gonna back this car up and put in another one. One, two, three, and four. This is just a picture of a yellow vehicle and it can take the place of our cars. I put four pictures because there were four cars. All right, I'm gonna need some orange cars to replace these ones. Let's back it up, beep, 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 and replace it with a picture. I'm gonna move that one and replace it with a picture. And that is our final orange car. How many pictures of green vehicles am I gonna need? You're right, one, two. I'm gonna put two pictures. The pictures tell us how many cars there were. And this red car is gonna zoom off and I'm gonna add one little red car picture there. On this graph, we can see which had the greatest number or the most and the smallest number, the fewest. Yellow had the most and red had the fewest. When I'm looking at this graph, I know that the yellow are on the left and the red are on the right side of my chart. Have you ever heard of left and right before? They tell us directions. I remember which one is left because when I make my hand on this side, it makes an L, an L for left. This is my left hand. And so this is the left side of the graph. 
this side is the right side. I could go like this as well, but hmm, this does not make an L. Well, it makes a backwards L, but not the right way. So this is my right hand, and this is my left hand. This is the left side of the graph, and this is the right side of the graph. When you're making your graph today, I want you to pay attention to the left and the right side. Do you think that you could make a fun graph today? You don't have to graph cars. In fact, you could graph any kind of toy or cereal or picture. I would love for you to make a fun graph today with pictures representing your objects. Have a wonderful day class and have fun playing with math. Bye-bye.